everybody! I blew out my voice doing a uh, collaboration video with my friend Connor. Hopefully that'll be up soon because it's a good one. But I tried to do videos after that and I just couldn't do it. So, binge compilation! Yay! Sorry! Who could possibly love me when I am a terrifying monstrosity? Well, well then. Oh my god! Mortal, your heart is balanced with the feather. You are on the precipice of both heaven and hell. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, were you like the first furry? Hell it is. Introverts don't get ready for a party. They gather strength for a party. This is 100% true. This tweet sounds as though introverts consume the souls of others before they engage in social events. This is 100% true. Behold, Lord of the Flies. How did you even- One universe, nine planets, seven seas, seven continents, 809 islands, 204 countries, and I had the unfortunate luck of meeting you. There are eight planets, you uncultured swine! Viva la Pluto, French you! I'm pretty sure Viva la Pluto, French you is the best sentence I've heard all week. Hedonism, as a concept, is so dope, and y'all gotta unbrainwash your religious upbringing nostalgia and realize that life is about kicking back and eating grapes around fire and nothing but a swimsuit and drinking margaritas. A little hedonism never hurt anybody! This post makes me want to rob you. What, it earned all of $10? Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. The ability to fly requires hollow bones. I could kick an angel's ass. I mean, you could kick a bird's ass, but you're not doing it. Why? A group of crows is called a murder. I'm not flocking with that. We all thought Loki was the odd one, but it turns out Thor is actually the friendly jock middle child in a family of bitchy drama club goths. And yet Loki's the one who's adopted, am I right? <laughs> what happened? Goblin food manifesto. All roots, including potatoes, are goblin food. Mushrooms are goblin food too. Meat, especially dried meat or offal. All junk food is goblin food. Macaroni cheese is goblin food, even if you used fancy ass ingredients to make it. In fact, all large helpings of pasta are goblin food. Anything eaten at 3 a.m. is goblin food. Anything thrown out slash slated to be thrown out probably becomes goblin food. Anything from leftovers is definitely goblin food. And stolen food is goblin food. But only if you are unrepentant about stealing it. If you're guilty, it isn't goblin. You know, I enjoy this goblin discourse. Yes, as I am a goblin, it is all my food. I don't trust that one. Appealed watermelon. Now you've seen everything. This is unsettling! I don't like it! Put this skin back on! Theory. LGBT was coined by the Beatles as an acronym for their names. Lenam, George Harrison Ford, Ball is Life McCartney, and The Drummer. What the fluff? How is he so big? He just has a really healthy diet. ha I don't know whether to find this cute or to look away and scream cursed image. I mean, it's Mickey Hatsune. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's cursed. You reading this? You princess. I don't care if you're a goddamn bodybuilder. You are now Princess Protein. Can we talk about the fact that there's a cotton sprout on the moon, please? And also, do you, do you think it should be named? Because I don't want to refer to it as just the plant. There's a cotton sprout on the moon? Astro Fluff. Astro Fluff! Okay. I've yet to see the pun opportunity be made, so here it goes. <clears throat> President McDonald Trump. The keyboard waffle iron. For the gamer in your life who desperately needs to eat breakfast. And you're cold, grumpy, but you still want to do really goofy things for the internet. A comprehensive guide to the way I speak. Okay, first off, is only gonna list one thing in his rebuttal. Goyle! No matter what gender, you will get called this goofy way saying, girl, damn thumbs, when tiny keyboard on screen is too weak from my huge toe thumbs. And, meh. When it's too quiet, but brain can't think of anything to say, so you roll a mental dice and land on one. Welcome to Wendy's, what can I get for you? Can I order an absolute unit of fries? What? I'm at large, I'm so sorry! Idea number 91. A food truck or dive that does flights of different kinds of mac and cheeses. You get six bowls of various recipes to try. And that's it. I bet I can get an absolute unit of mac and cheese there. Mickey. Mick Key. Mick Key. Keyblade. Son of a- I've been told that you can't breathe in when you try to smile. And that's a lie. I just wanted to get you to smile. Alright, time to spot the all-time low fans. <coughs> 
Here's your picture. I'm coming with you, dear Maria Champion. And hey, you, reading this, you're going to be okay. And remember, you got to love you. Let us sit back, relax, and cleanse our mind with these shower thoughts. Ignoring a problem is like letting it level up before facing you. Every single person on the planet is living in their own complete and unique universe because we can never truly experience anything from someone else's mind or perceptions of the world. Bat wings are finger bones with membranes stretched over them, meaning that bats fly with the power of jazz hands. Punching bags would probably make good hugging bags if you calm down for a second. One day, we will put down our favorite video game and never play it again. McDonald's needs a light-up sign, indicating when the ice cream machine is working just like Krispy Kreme has that light-up sign letting us know that the donuts are hot. Tacos are just well-organized nachos. The most unrealistic thing about the Wizard of Oz is that Dorothy wants to go back to Kansas. The Trojan horse would have gone down as one of the history's dumbest military blunders if the Trojans had decided to burn the horse. Because pregnant people will always exist, the average number of skeletons inside a person will always be more than one. Everyone talks about the little voice in their head, but no one mentions the little ears in your head letting us hear that voice. Game apps not showing you the time or battery on your phone is the equivalent of casinos not having windows or clocks. And finally, the idea that nothing matters is the root of both depression and happiness, but from very different perspectives. And this has been Shower Thoughts. Kyrie's... Kyrie's inside me? Oh yeah, she is. Know who else is inside you? Joan, Roxas, Ventus, the Beatles, the cast of Friends, a $5 foot long? In the last 13 years of my life! <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah, you have a lot of stuff in you. All right, real talk. Comparing your relationship to Romeo and Juliet to express how in love you are is kind of like using Hamlet to demonstrate how close and well-adjusted your family life is. The pig goes. The cow goes. The horse goes. The dog goes. You are grounded! So is Hughes. Just take me to art museums and make out with me. But they said not to touch the masterpieces. Well, somebody's gotta pin the artwork on the wall. <sighs> this is Johnson, those idiots are Frenching in the East Wing again. So why was Edward Elric named the Full Metal Alchemist? Why not the Punching Alchemist? Because by God, did he punch some stuff? Edward Elric, the dude who punched the gate of truth open just so he could yell a little longer at his little brother. Edward Elric, the dude who punched his own dad in the face. His dad, who's kind of immortal. Edward Elric, the dude who punched God. Like, literally, straight up freaking decked him. The catch these hands, Alchemist! Shout out to people who can't stand loud noises because of anxiety or sensory issues or chronic migraines and they have to deal with people being unnecessarily loud all the time but they can't do or say anything about it because that's rude and ruining everybody's good time! Well, maybe a shout out's not the best idea, but we appreciate the sentiment. My goal in life is to be as cool as Nick from Jimmy Neutron. He looks like a Mexican Sasuke. Sasuke. I want someone who doesn't watch wrestling to explain to me what is happening in this scene. COMPETITIVE LIGHT BULB REPLACEMENT! Tonight, robot struck and killed by self-driving Tesla in Las Vegas at CES. I is it beef? My god. We were so worried about the robots waging war on us. We didn't even consider them waging war on each other. I am the snake in my boot! Jesus Christ! My mom tried to teach our goats to pee in one certain spot by giving them treats when they pee in that spot. Except that they think that now whenever they pee, they get a treat. So whenever they see my mom, they pee. <laughs> Behaviorism gone wrong. Pavlov is laughing in his grave. <laughs> you stupid idiots! So today I learned Charles Osborne had the hiccups nonstop for approximately 68 years, from 1922 to 1990. His hiccups first started in 1922 while weighing a hog for slaughter. He fell and busted a blood vessel in his brain, resulting in him damaging a small part of the brain that inhibits the hiccup response. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that the default is yes hiccups, and there's a part of the brain that's specifically designed to say no hiccups instead? You sound surprised that humans are so badly designed. What happens if you put a werewolf on the moon is a great question. Probably the best question ever asked. He'll explode and die because there's no oxygen on the moon. 
We never said we'd send him up without a suit, you absolute monster. Does that sound like a conversation between a Slytherin and a Gryffindor? No? Okay.